What we know is that the car was traveling down a road in Florida. I think it was Route 27. Uh, there was a tractor trailer pulling out in front of it with a, a, a white, uh, sort of bright white uh, screen. And there it was, was making a turn in front of the yeah, Tesla. And the sun was behind it as well. The autopilot and the driver didn't see uh, the truck coming, and it went under the, the trailer, which was quite oh. high, which then ripped the top completely off the Tesla and presumably killed him fairly, fairly quickly. Um, I'm, I mean, kind of in two minds on this because, you know, tens of thousands of people die every year on American roads. Someone dies in a Tesla and everyone loses their minds. It's this had to happen. It's we're going to lose more people in this way. I think we should basically just man up and get used to it because this is what driving is about. Unless you want to go back to, you know, man, moving around at the speed of a horseback, then, um, you know, we're going to have to accept this. I. We're still waiting on the results of the investigation. There's a lot, of, a lot of data which we're still waiting on. I personally think the Harry Potter thing is probably overstated. You can't, to my knowledge at least, display TV on the central console you can't. of a Tesla. It has been hacked, so that yeah. you can't do the central console. However, um, there is a video that the same driver posted, and he and, 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 and paradoxically, tragically, he was a super fan. Oh, frequently car tweeting, yeah. you know, frequently tweeting to Elon, frequently posting videos, and he posted this video, which I'll play. Um, and in this video, uh, you can see very clearly this white truck comes in, almost broadsides him, and the autopilot basically saves him. Well, according yeah. to him, he saves him. And it, according to the video, it seems like that. Now, what's very interesting about this video is, in other videos of him using the autopilot, I noticed he had uh, a phone on the dashboard, you know, like an Uber driver or a Lyft mm -hmm. driver might have, mounted on the dashboard. Yeah. Yep. Um, and in this video, he's listening to an audiobook. So there's two pieces of evidence. I'm like a little bit of like a Columbo mm -hmm. here, because I was looking at this, and I'm just thinking, you can't play video on the screen, but people have hacked the screen to play video. I right. doubt this person hacked their screen. Yeah. It's... it's Possible, but not probable. Well, also, yeah. also the report was in the Daily Mail, which has a very sort of tangential approach to fact-checking, but... Um... <laughs> let me take a moment here to let everybody know about AdRoll. It is the most widely used retargeting platform in the world with over 25,000 advertisers and most visitors, as you know, when they're coming to your web page or service, do not convert on the first try. So AdRoll converts window shoppers into buyers. It has access to over 500 ad exchanges, including, of course, Facebook and Google. And you can reach your potential customers across devices, browsers, and apps. Now, this ba balances usability with powerful performance, machine learning, data science on the bids and uh, ads quickly and efficiently. And so your budget's going to go further, reducing wasted spend. It's really easy to use, and they have 24-hour support if you need it. What does this do? Well, you know, when somebody comes to your website, um, you can basically then go and serve them ads. So when I, I bought these Danner boots as an example. I love these Danner boots that um, were Daniel Craig wore in the uh, latest uh, James Bond. So I casually looked at their website, but then for the next two weeks, I was constantly seeing Danner boots. And I said, gosh, I love these boots. And then finally, when I was on Facebook or Twitter or another site, I clicked on them and actually closed the purchase of a $350 pair of boots. I had forgotten that I had stumbled upon these uh, in the James Bond film that had wanted to buy them. And I wear them literally six out of seven days. I love them so much. And that's really what retargeting does. It lets the ads on the internet go from being inane and not targeted to be hyper-targeted, and that's good for everybody. Um, so uh, established players like Pantheon and Doc Martens use them and a 1,000 emerging businesses. From James Heller, who is the founder of Rapify, which went through my incubator I'm an investor in, he said this, AdRoll is an integral part of our customer acquisition strategy. It allows us to continue to garner impressions long after the initial customer interaction. It's also one of the most cost-effective tools to bolster any integrated marketing strategy. AdRoll is the best retargeting platform, period. Thanks, James, from Rapify for letting us know that. Good to have a testimonial from one of my companies. And uh, so here's your call to action, everybody. New customers can get started with $100 credit at adroll.com slash twist, adroll.com slash twist, adroll.com slash twist. And go ahead and thank at adroll for supporting independent media like this week in startups. <laughs> <laughs>